We're going to turn now to the latest fallout from the disaster in Japan that could be headed here. All kinds of debris swept up by the tsunami, even houses and cars, are now floating in the Pacific and making their way to our west coast. Neil Karlinski has that story from Tokyo. Members of the U.S. Navy's 7th Fleet near the coast of Japan say they've never seen anything like it. Houses, cars, even tractor trailers bobbing in the ocean have become a threat to shipping traffic. More than 200,000 buildings were washed out to sea by the tsunami, and now a powerful current called the North Pacific Gyre is carrying everything towards the coasts of Washington, Oregon, and California before looping back towards Hawaii and Asia. Across the wide Pacific, the average drift rate is 5 to 10 miles a day, so it comes over here after one or two years, it's here. Oceanographer Kurt Ebesmeyer has tracked the path of ocean debris from around the world. He says a year from now, we'll begin to see things that easily float, like boats, wood from houses, and plastic children's toys. Two years out, fishing supplies and nets will come ashore. And after three years, shoes, plastic furniture, even entire dining sets. Back here on land in Japan, the search is on for the missing nearly 15,000 people whose bodies have never been found.